Hey guys, Warner with Red to Black Academy and today we are talking about procrastination. I don't care how effective you are at creating money or anything else in your life, there's going to come a time and a place where you're just going to procrastinate. Now the higher performers, that time of procrastination becomes less and less and less because they get into procrastination and they know how to clip themselves out. They're effective at performing that when they see that procrastination coming, they either knock themselves out of it or they stop what they're doing and they rest. So why is procrastination, or why does it occur? Well, the reason it occurs is because you are not juiced up about what you're doing. You'd rather do something else, right? You're procrastinating. You're not doing what you said you would do, and you're going over to do something else. So let's take the example of this course which is focused on making money. You've created a goal, like I've talked about in the past videos, to create $100,000 per year. Well, procrastination can, can sort of come in in multiple different ways to sidetrack you. Maybe you start out in the first quarter, you've made $1,000. You're way behind your goals, right? You should have been at uh, 25000 if it's 100000 a year, four quarters, four divided by into 100 thousand is 25,000. You should be at 25,000. You're at 1,000. Now, if you don't have the tools and how to have a powerful mindset and reassess your actions, you can easily get caught in procrastination because you lose focus of why you created your goals for $100,000 a year. Right? You've lost that empowering context. You were juiced up about that. Hey, I want, I want financial freedom. I want to buy this really cool car. I want to be able to go on more vacations. I want to take my family here, right? All those empowering things. You see this future that you're living in and that, is empowering, that empowering story creates the context, the power, the power generation station for you to take action. But when you start seeing your effect, you're taking a bunch of ineffective actions and it's not leading to the goal and you're seeing that dream kind of just fade away, you say to yourself, well, what's the point? That is an excellent position to be in and here's why. Because you've hit a wall and you have two choices when you hit that wall. You can either procrastinate, go do something else, or you can continue and bounce through that wall. There's a lesson to be learned, which is, why am I taking so many ineffective actions? Should I talk to an expert? Should I, get, should I get a mentor? There's so many different routes you can go. The point is there's this discovery process. When you're in a state of procrastination, start looking at procrastinations like I've hit a roadblock. So switch the word procrastination with roadblock and then look at the effective actions necessary to bounce through that procrastination. But the key to not procrastinating is having a plan. If you don't have the plan, then you're just procrastinating all day long. You have no direction in which you're going. If you have a plan and you start procrastinating, look at it as an impasse or roadblock and then start taking actions. If you keep hitting roadblocks, talk to someone else who can support you in overcoming those roadblocks. At the end of the day, if you just keep hitting roadblock and roadblock, this is where consistency and persistency come in. Just keep going. The successful individuals don't really talk about this a lot. It's just who's gonna get down and get gritty and keep going to find the solution. It's there. The question is, are you willing to fight through the procrastination and honor your word, which is creating $100,000 per year, or for this channel, creating $10 million a month? What are you willing to do to get through that procrastination, to create that wealth, to create that lifestyle that's gonna create all those opportunities for you? Thank you guys for listening. If you like this content, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Like it, comment on it, share it with your friends and family. And as always, I appreciate your time and I look forward to connecting with you in the future.